guys, Tiara Lachey here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be playing with some Makeup Revolution products. I had actually purchased some of these products a while back, but never really used them. I think I dibbled and dabbled in them a little bit. Like I literally like bought palettes after palettes. I have so many Makeup Revolution palettes, but I just never really use them like I just didn't use them much but I think the brand is starting to definitely grow especially with the recent launch of their concealers which have been compared to that forbidden concealer that other thing that's that other brand I don't have everything makeup revolution but I do have a good bit of products that I just want to kind of try out see how they work and just kind of give you guys my opinions regarding them first and foremost if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so that way you can stay up to date on all of my uploads and then also I just want to say welcome to those of you who are new but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and get started let's do this all right so what I did is I went ahead and did my brows and did my foundation now I'm to the point where I would traditionally do my concealer and so I want to give the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealers a try. Whew, mouthful. So these are said to be full coverage to my knowledge. Let me just double check really quick because I don't want to tell any lies. So what it says on Tan Beauty's website, the concealer is for everyone, 18 shades ranging from fair to deep in cool, neutral, neutral and warm undertones lightweight yet full coverage concealer to con cover I cannot read today lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes even skin tone and counteract dark circles with a matte finish that won't settle or accentuate fine lines and pores I purchased C12 C13 and C14 I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch them really quick for you so here are the swatches the top one is C12, the middle one is C13, and then this one at the bottom is C14. With my highlighting shade, I'm going to go ahead and go in with C12. I think that'll work best for me. And here is the applicator. It is a doe foot. It's not quite as big as the Tarte Shape Tapes applicator, but I feel like it's just a little bit smaller. It feels very creamy going on. So on my hand, it looked like this had more of yellow undertones, but I think this is actually more of like kind of a neutrally, like I just wish this color had a little bit more yellow. So to blend it out, I'm just going to use a Real Technique sponge. I do believe that this color C12 is very similar to Tan Sand in the Shape Tape. I mean, it blends out well. I don't feel like I'm having any problem blending it. It's settling into my lines, so the fine line thing is not 100%. So from what I'm looking at, it's, it's cool. I don't necessarily feel like it gives me all the coverage that Shape Tape gave me. Like if I'm just comparing the two, because I know people are comparing this and saying it's a dupe, I don't feel like I'm getting that complete coverage. Like I'm still able to see my bags. And granted, puffiness has nothing to do with anything, but with my shape tape, I just feel like I kind of escape bag world just a little bit. But from here, looking into the camera, I can definitely still see that this is more of a medium coverage rather than a full coverage. And I did put two layers on, so I don't know. For $7, I don't think it's a bad. I don't feel like it's a bad choice, but the real question is do I feel like it compares to Shape Tape? And I wouldn't put it in the Shape Tape family. Now let's try to contour with it. We're gonna see here. I'm really nervous about this color, I really am. And I'm just gonna use the Morphe G39 brush, which is the stippled, stippled brush here. Okay, so to contour, I would say this is absolutely not. Like, this color, not for me, but I also do not like the way that it's blending out as a contour shade. I don't like it. Like, I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like that. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. I have used this before, not in combination with the Makeup Revolution concealers, but I do like this setting powder. The only thing I will say is that I wish they would have given us a bigger top in order to use it because it does get quite messy. But I'm just going to pick this powder up with my sponge and just set that over the eyes. Alright, let's just jump to the eyes because right now my face is looking like 
disastrous and it's not the under eye area that concerns me it's this contour like this contour just is like mud anyways so like i said earlier i went to ulta when makeup revolution first like got into ulta and i like racked up on their palettes i have this one the unicorns unite palette it's really pretty it looks like this not all of their palettes but some of their palettes come with mirrors which is really nice and they're really good mirrors like y'all I may not use the colors in the palettes for eyeshadow looks but I use these mirrors so I think what I'm going to do is first though pick up this palette this is the redemption eyeshadow palette iconic one um, which is this one right here and I'm just going to pick up this shade and use it as a transition color I'm not seeing anything happen here. Very, 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 very light color there that's not showing any type of pigment in it. So I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown shade and mix this one right here and just try to mix it with this and hopefully it won't come off too dark. And it did, but that's okay. I'm just taking a brush with no product on it and I'm trying to just blend this out. So that way it doesn't look so patchy because right now it's very patchy and I don't know if you guys can actually see that. I'm going to take this purple shade right here and pick that up just to try to bring some color into this. Whoa. Wow. Um, I don't like this. I'm going to keep going though. I'm going to take this color right here in the palette and just pick that up this one's kind of like a satin color and just place it right on top of that purple on just to see why not we're going ugly let's just keep going ugly y'all I hate it I hate it like there's no other way for me to describe it other than I hate it so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take this this blue shade right here I'm gonna pick it up with my finger and just hope that I get something out of this oh Nothing is picking up. Let's try a brush. I will say the brush applies this so, 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 so much better than my finger did. I go back in with this purple shade right here and just put that in the crease. The issue with this palette, I would say, or what seems to be the eyeshadows in general, it's the mattes. The mattes are not user friendly. They're very uh, chalky. They're very dry feeling. I'm not gonna waste you guys' time anymore because I would not recommend these eyeshadows to you. I'm just gonna finish this eye look and then I'm going to come back and we'll play with some other Makeup Revolution products. All right, so now that I've completed the these eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and do blush. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going to use this right here. This is the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter, and this is the color Rose Gold. Still like kind of sheer for compared to like other liquid highlighters, but I actually like the way it applies. What I'm gonna do, is just take a little bit and put it on my hand and then use my Real Technique sponge and just apply that. I actually like this liquid highlighter. I've used this in other makeup looks and I really do like it as like a base for my highlighter. So what I am going to do is go in with this Makeup Revolution Brick Highlighter. It's a Shimmer Brick Highlighter in Rose Gold and I'm going to just apply this on top. And so I'm trying to be really light-handed because they can go crazy real quick and I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> but they're very pigmented highlighters. Then for blush, I'm actually have two. I like using their matte blushes. I have the color Fusion and the color Nude. And so I think I'm gonna use Fusion because I don't think Nude is really gonna show today. These are one of those blushes you have to be really careful with or you're gonna look like a clown. There she goes. Heavy handed Sally. All right guys, so that completes everything. Um, yeah, so let me give you a little quick rundown about the things that I actually liked and the things that are just not happening for me. The first thing would be the concealers, which is probably why most of you guys even clicked on this video. I appreciated it for my under eye area. Um, now that I'm looking at it and now that everything's set and like I'm done, I don't hate the under eyes. I think it's 
not as drying one as the shape tape which is good but do i feel like it provides the absolute fullness of coverage like the shape tape no it's still a good coverage that it provides you it's just going to be more on your it's not full full coverage it's going to be like more medium full coverage if y'all feel my drift now as far as the concealer for contouring c14 for me i think just looks like mud i think i would have much rather it instead of being so cool maybe more um, of a warm tone brown i think warm tone contours look better for me rather than that like ashy tone maybe with a different color i would appreciate it but i think for now i'm just gonna stick with using it for my under eye area rather than my contour area the setting powder i really really do like the setting powder and like i told you guys before this is not my first time using it in this video i highly recommend this they actually have it in the banana shade they have a terracotta shade for more deeper skin tones and then they have like a white translucent one i picked up the banana just because i felt like it was the most suitable for my skin tone and i really really like it i really like the finish that it gives it's just an overall really good powder the liquid highlighter like i do like it it's more sheer something that i would use for more so of a base of a highlighter rather than a highlight by itself you can use it by itself but if you're one of those va va boom type of highlighting girls i think you would not want this by itself you're probably going to want to just use it as a base and then apply another highlighter on top the blush blushes are very pigmented if you're looking for an inexpensive blush i would recommend using their blushes and their highlights like the shimmer brick highlighters are really really nice now these eyeshadows they're a no for me dog like i just felt that they were just chalky i didn't feel like i got as much pigment they just don't blend the colors just turn all muddy once you're starting to blend them together as you can see like my crease i feel like just looks like dirt like I don't feel like I, you, you can't see the differentiate differentiation in colors. Like I just feel like it's just there. And if it wasn't for this lid color, this eye look would be complete and utter doo doo. That's kind of everything. That's, that's everything. That's kind of my opinions on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you have anything for Makeup Revolution that you really, really like, leave it down in the comment section. You know, just kind of talk to me. Let me know what for Makeup Revolution have you tried and you like? What have you tried and you don't like? I would just love to see your guys' feedback in regards to that. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I use today, please leave it down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get those answered for you. Alrighty, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.